Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chagnot. I'm a Katia consultant working for TLM Technology in Norway. And today I'm going to perform a live demonstration on the 3D current release 19X on CAD. This video will be about sketcher application in Katia path design. And I will show you some tips and tricks and some new structure as well. This video will be divided in several parts. So feel free to look at the description below to check the timeline. Okay, let's start now. So I created a 3D path that I call tip sketches. I will now make, select the plane and make a sketch on top of that plane. You probably know that you can make simple rectangle or square in sketch today. But do you know that you can also make polygon and triangle now in the release 19X? If you go down to the rectangle panel, you have polygon here in the bottom. And you see on my second window, I have a small panel that appears here. But you can make a polygon, okay? In that case, an hexagon because the number of edges is blocked to six. But if I want to change that, I make another polygon and I remove this option here. And now I can decide how many edges my polygon should have. And I think I can go up to 100, um, 24 in that case. Okay, but the most important here is that you can easily make a triangle now in sketch. Okay, let's see the, the other point. Let's continue by making another sketch. I will make a rectangle. And I think this feature has been waiting a long time in the Katia community. But now, if you make two circles, you have an equal feature that allows you to give the same dimension of two circles. So I will just delete that dimension here. And I select these two sketches that I wrote, it's two circles. And you have a small equal feature here that, that, that come. So this is finally arrived in Katia release 19X. If I put 30 millimeter, these two change, but if I want to also add this one and this one together, there is no problem. And this is how you make an easy way of making several circles of same dimension in a sketch. I have a special tips for you if you work with spline. Let's make a spline, as you can see, spline in a sketch. So I use the feature shift, as you can see on my keyboard, to remove this magnetized grid. Okay, so now we have a spline and as you know it's very nice to move manually to make a nice curve but if you want to constrain this spline it's going to take a bit of time since you have to connect to constrain all the points together well an easy function to do that is to select the spline here and select the auto constraint mode you have this small panel that appears here and you just need to select the reference elements such as the horizontal and vertical line click on ok and now your spline is already constrained automatically you just need to adjust if you want the dimension manually another feature possible on the 3d experience sketcher is to write some text so as you can see i already wrote plm technology here i can put my text in a sketch change the font change the size of the font of course click on ok and now i can directly reuse that for making a pad for example as you can see here but more important i will just delete what i've done here and delete the sketch make another sketch and i want to show you that this feature will follow also the curve you make on the curve or a circle it's no problem for that so i can just do it again my manipulation but this time select my curve and as you can see I can either put it on top or in the bottom of my curve great the only thing with this feature is it is not associative so if you want to move this curve the text will not flow you have to redo this that's why I prefer to do my text really at the end of my design 
Okay, thank you for watching that step. Let's go to the another one. So something that happened to me often is a problem while doing a groove on a cylinder. I will now make a basic shaft. Okay. And I can also select the axis line here. Since I will use the feature shaft, it will automatically recognize the axis. Okay. And now I will just move back to the shading with edges design. And now when you want to make a groove on that cylinder and select this as the edge of your cylinder, it will select it as the axis. As you can see, tangency will go down. And a one way to do uh, to, to select this uh, edge on the cylinder is to select the feature silhouette. You select silhouette here, and now you automatically get the edge of that cylinder. And you can now transform it into a construction element. We can use the feature tangent to connect these two elements together, exit, and now do the groove. On that, select the sketch and the axis here. Okay, next step. You know that when you make a construction element inside a sketch, it will not be shown after. Let's see. Here I'm making a circle that I will use for a construction element. Let me show you. Construction element is here. Okay, so now if I select the diameter here, 40, now I know that this circle will be on the 40 diameter here. If I exit, you can see that the construction element is not here anymore. Well, if you want to show it in the 3D, you have to go to the output feature here. You select this circle here. You can also do it on the right click, circle object, output feature. Now it will get this grass uh, brass uh, color but there's no problem you can see it in the output that it's it's another feature on top of your geometry if i exit now i can see my circle in the 3d model okay the last tips i have for you guys is when you have a sketch that is open as you can see here i'm in sketch i will use the profile feature and this happens pretty often it's when you have a sketch that is not closed, so in that case I make it on purpose, but you don't see it very well. Here I even remove the connection. If you don't see it, but when you exit and you want to make a pad, it's not possible. So I will just edit my sketch and I will show you a nice feature in analysis. You select your sketch here and you can already click on sketch solving it's under constraints so because we don't have any constraints in that case but you can also look at sketch analysis here it say you have an open profile and you can see already that it tells you where the problem is and we have a nice view here that say that you are not connected but we can also click directly on close open profile and now, as you can see it's closed you can also have a, a real diagnostic on all the area of your sketch. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do not hesitate to contact us to have more information because we deliver courses. If you want to, please comment and subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website www.plmtechnology.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye.